Hello YouTube, this is Gunnery Sergeant 67 here, coming at y'all with a new video. In the spirit of Halloween, I thought I would do a video on the five things I would take into a zombie apocalypse. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'd like to say that all my firearms are clear for all you gun, your safety nuts. There's no round in the chamber, and there's no pistol mag in this. Same thing with the AR. Bolts to the rear, no round in the chamber, no magazine inserted, weapon on safe. All right. One of the first things I would take into a zombie apocalypse would be my bug out bag. I did a review on this earlier, and basically this has everything. This has, as you can see, my two water bottles, my first aid kit, my rifle cleaning kit. It's got my fire starting material inside. Over here, it's got my uh, K-Bar for my long knife. I've got uh, additional flashlights inside. I've got a poncho, poncho liner, emergency blanket, uh, water filtration, map, compasses of my area, all that shit. So basically my bug out bag, it's got also a change of clothes. I've got a hundred rounds of 556 62 grain full metal jackets and then I also got another hundred rounds of 9 millimeter Federal Hydroshock inside as well so and uh, that's the first item I'll be taking into the zombie apocalypse would be my bug out bag the second thing I would take into a zombie apocalypse is going to be my tack vest my tack vest I've kept it really really simple it's just a base tack vest with a couple of Blackhawk uh, AR-15 mag pouches and Blackhawk 9mm pouches. All of them are loaded. Right there I've got 180 rounds of 5.56 and then I've got 45 rounds on the pistol mags over there. It's really light. It's not like other tack vests where you throw body armor on there. Uh, me personally during a zombie apocalypse I don't think that you really need ballistic plates because uh, they're just trying to bite you and rip you apart not really shoot you granted you are probably gonna have to deal with survivors but I don't see that as a big a threat as a zombie horde alright on to the next item the next item I have is my 9 millimeter Beretta FS 92 like I've said in my uh, review on this pistol earlier I love this gun I'm in the military. I've been in the military for 16 years, and this is a sidearm I've taken to Afghanistan and Iraq, and it's just something I'm comfortable with. Um, like I've said earlier in my previous videos, I don't think caliber is really a uh, big deal because you put one in the head on anybody or a zombie, they're going down. Okay, my next thing I would take into the zombie apocalypse, my fourth weapon, is my DPMS AP4. AR-15. I've also reviewed this on a previous video. I love this thing. Um, also, I've uh, since I've been in the military as well, this is a primary weapon that I've trained with and that I've put hundreds if not thousands of rounds and hundreds if not thousands of hours behind this weapon. So I'm very proficient at it. Uh, this is also beefed up. I've got uh, the chrome lined bolt and also I got a chrome line chamber and bore with this thing and on my previous videos I've also reviewed this Mako forward pistol grip with tactical flashlight so it's pretty awesome it uh... it has this nice light on it that you can go ahead and engage with the front button on the pistol grip on and off it's pretty bright and then you can put it on safe that way you don't accidentally engage it and give your position away this is awesome I love this rifle and this pistol and finally the fifth thing that I would bring into a zombie apocalypse will be my official Wilson aluminum baseball bat now I was throwing it up in the air whether or not to take my uh, bear arrow bow and arrow but I decided not to because I figured I already got some ranged weapons right here 
So maybe it would be time to get some type of bludgeoning weapon. So this right here, as you can tell, it's kind of scratched up a little bit. It's been used quite a bit. It's a 30 ouncer. And I think it would be pretty proficient in smashing in zombie skulls if I got up close and personal with them. All right, YouTube, uh, that's my five things I would take with me into a zombie apocalypse. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and drop me a comment on stuff you liked and stuff you don't like. All right, thanks for watching. Gunnery Sergeant 67, out.